I'm here with Rachel Detame. She's a glamorous gardener of the gardening world here at Gloucester Keys. So Rachel, tell us a little bit about what you're doing today. Well, I'm here to just have a really good look round. I want to meet lots of people, see what's happening. It's a beautiful setting. Sun's come out. I know, can you believe it? Absolutely fabulous, <laughs> at last. Um, and then I'm going to be giving a couple of talks. And one of those is about my own garden, which is in the next door county of Oxfordshire. Mm -hmm. And the other one is about my experience on the Royal Barge last year. Yes, so you were telling me about this beforehand. What, what did you do for the Royal Barge? Well, I designed all the floral decorations for the Royal Barge. So um, that meant that we had live plants on board we had lots of cut flowers as well wow. so it was quite a, a, an extraordinary experience and then I was actually on the barge during the pageant itself really so yes freezing oh, along with word. everyone else but it was extraordinary absolutely extraordinary yes. I can imagine so you've got some really good memories fantastic memories and I enjoyed the whole process I mean I worked on the project for about nine months and doing all the research beforehand and making sure we had all the iconography correct and so on um, and then bringing it to fruition because of course there are no second chances no. it had to be absolutely spot on on the day and, and wow. uh, other than the weather which I, we couldn't do anything about I think it was it was great it went very well also well so we've got Easter weekend yes and do you think this is a time that everybody wants to get out in their gardens? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, this is prime gardening weekend. Um, uh, traditionally, I think it's a time when lots of people go to the garden centre and start stocking off on plants. The only thing I would say is that because it's so cold this year, just to sort of, I mean, by all means, go and get things, get yourself ready. Yeah. But there's no rush, particularly with putting things like bedding plants out. It's just not warm enough yet. No. So just hold fire on that. But sowing seeds and prepping, you know, mulching and all that sort of thing, go for it because I, I don't really know much about sowing seeds so you're gonna have to oh. I did actually watch a couple of your videos to be honest it's one so what is your favorite flower oh gosh oh, that, that's almost impossible but I have been sowing lots and lots and lots of sweet peas I've, oh, got, really? I've done about 150 and I've got to stop now because that, that's probably enough for me for one year but um, I love sowing sweet peas tomatoes they're all in I mean all sorts of things I've just got rows and rows and rows of little pots in my greenhouse so now, are they so. All, yeah, in the, in the greenhouse, yes. I was going to say, not out. <laughs> Undercover. <laughs> yeah. Well, it keeps snowing and then it's sunny. I and know, can't make its mind up. No. So do you have any tips, style tips, of what you wear to keep warm what in these wear? cold? Yes, yeah. Yes, no, I've actually taken have... my jacket off the first time in months. <laughs> I've still um, got mine well I, and truly on. <laughs> I actually, when I'm not fit, I just wear any old thing. Do you? Yes. Husband's jumper, old T-shirts. But in your videos, you thing. look so glamorous. Well, I make a bit of an effort sometimes for the, <laughs> the telly, but... Um, in my, yes, my real life, just whatever happens to be there. So you don't have your fair, favourite pair of wellies? Or uh, I do have favourite shoot boots and do you? wellies. And oh, OK. Like yes, I do. Just adding and, a little bit. Actually, of... I wear one of my, my son's old jackets that he wore when he was about 13 or 14. I was about to get rid of it. And then I thought, I'll just try it on. It fitted perfectly. Amazing. So, yeah, Happy so that's days. been handy as well. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's a pleasure. And good luck with today. I'm thank sure you. you're going to have an absolute blast. And we'll be in the next talk to see you then. Thank okay, you. Thank you.